Uh, start off with an easy one. What's a typical day in the life of Jane Victorino in Maui? In Maui? In Maui. In Maui. In Maui. Typical, <laughs> life, typical day in the life of Shane Victorino in Maui. Poof. <laughs> you know what? That probably would have been just getting up in the morning. Um, you know, getting up to the beautiful weather. Uh, of course, there in Hawaii. Uh, you know, our beautiful island Maui. And just spend time with my family. Um, you know, that's that was that would be now. But uh, you know, back when I was a kid, it was probably get up, go to school. Uh, after school's done, go to sports. Uh, you know, whatever practice it may be, soccer, football. You know, whatever it was going on at the time, baseball, track. Uh, and you know, after that's done, go home and spend time with the family. Cool. Uh, a couple years ago, you became a father. How does that yeah. feel? Oh, I love it. I love being a dad. Um, you know, my little girl Kalia, is, uh, she's a little rascal. And <laughs> my mom guys always told me sometimes it comes, uh, you know, full circle. And, you know, my mom and dad, they did a wonderful job with me as a kid. And, you know, now I get to see what I would probably like and see my genes go to work right. with my daughter. And it's, she's a handful, so I can only imagine what I was like for my mom and dad. <laughs> Speaking about your dad, he's a council member back in Maui. Uh, to give you any kind of words of wisdom, leadership advice? Um, you know what, uh, Dad's one of those guys where I think uh, in the position that he's in and some of the things that he's done, uh, you know, in, in the community, you know, he's always told me that, you know, work hard, uh, you know, and when you go out there uh, and you work hard, you show people that you can become, be a leader, not by talking about it, but by going out there and doing things the right way, you know, giving back to the community and so on and so forth. So to have Dad in that position, I think it's nice and, uh, you know, he loves what he does. He loves always giving back and working for the community. And, you know, when he got into the councilman position, uh, he was very excited. Cool. Uh, you mentioned being in baseball, you're an Eagle Scout as well, football. Is there anything you can't do? Anything I can't do? <laughs> uh, you know what's funny? I never did surf. I never did, oh. uh, yeah, I never did surf growing up. Uh, that was the one thing I think everybody always kind of questions, like, you know, coming from Hawaii, how right, did right. you surf and yada, yada, yada. But, you know what, I always told myself when my friends went to the beach, I went to the baseball park, I went to the football field, I went to the soccer field, you know, I wanted to go get better you know, playing sports and, uh, you know, so I think that helped me uh, differentiate myself from some of the things that, you know, like if I went to spend a lot of time at the beach and surfed and, you know, what it took away from me trying to be a, a, a you know, good athlete that I am today. Right. Uh, speaking about baseball, we have Tony Regal, Sid Fernandez, Benny Agbayani from back in the day. Today we have, like, the little leaguers from YPO, you, Tyler Yates. Um, is this just the beginning of Hawaii talent coming in? Yeah, um, you know, I think Hawaii is uh, uh, definitely going to be a, a place where scouts are going to come. Um, you know, myself, Kurt Suzuki, you said Tyler Yates, Brandon Lee. I mean, I can keep going on the list. You know, more and more kids are in the minor leagues. Um, you know, so it's, it's, it's definitely one of those things where I think Hawaii is going to become a state where I think a lot of people are going to look, you know, look, go there and look for talent and look for baseball talent. The thing is, Hawaii has so many talented kids. Yeah. You know, it's just that a lot of them don't want to go away. A lot of them, you know, miss Hawaii and yada yada. And I always say to myself, like, you know, if my family's healthy, everybody's doing great, Hawaii's Hawaii. It's not going to change, you know. And uh, you know, if you get the opportunity to go away, go to the States and do some things, hey, take the chance. You know what? Your home will always be home. Um, it ain't going to go nowhere. Exactly. Uh, you're highly involved in the community, both in Philadelphia and Hawaii. And you have a celebrity golf classic coming up in November, I believe. Yes. Uh, what makes you care so much about the community? Well, I just think, uh, you know, being in a position that I'm in today, uh, you know, growing up there in Hawaii, I never really saw too much of these kind of things. And, uh, you know, being in the sport that I am, I have a lot of teammates who host charity events. And, uh, you know, for me, I was, I was always taught that if any way you can give back, I think, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where if you can give back, why not? You know, uh, if you can put a, make an impact on somebody's life, why not? And I think that, you know, when I got into the level that I was at last year and I said to myself, you know what, it's time for me to try to make something happen in Hawaii, you know, raise money for, you know, certain causes. You know, last year was Alzheimer's, this year it's Hawaii uh, Children's Cancer Research, you know. Uh, so uh, any way I can give back, I think it's one of those things where I've always, uh, you know, when you're in a position like they say, well, you know, you're a professional athlete, you should give back. You know, sometimes I think that, you know, we're not, we're in a position that we don't have to give back, but we're in a position where we can help, to, you know, make the community build, and I think that's what we do, and, uh, you know, that's why I love doing uh, these charity events. How'd you like the fight last night? I love it. <laughs> we saw you there. We're all, we're all BJ. Uh, you know, definitely excited. Uh, you know, he definitely represented Hawaii, but, you know, I think he worked hard. I think he was really, uh, really, really focused on this fight and wanted to make a, uh, you know, make an impression. I think that was what I saw out of him. He had that, that drive, he had that desire, he had the BJ Penn attitude and uh, you know I think he really worked hard for this fight. He wanted to, you know, prove to people again that hey, you know what, he's still known as one of the best guys.
Um, you probably have a lot of fans from Hawaii in for the fight and probably here for the game today. Uh, pretty amped up about that? Yeah, no, I'm excited. Uh, you know, I definitely uh, I saw a few Hawaiian flags flying in the stands yeah. uh, in the last couple of nights. So, you know, definitely nice to have the support and, uh, you know, a lot from Hawaii people.